Well, guys, it's exciting to be back in the ring here this morning. Uh, another good group of showmen to lead us off here. I'm going to I'm gonna start them, uh, just keep them as they stand here. Young lady's going to be uh, lead us off here. Uh, just does a really nice job for me. Uh, always quick on getting them set. Uh, always knows where I'm at. Uh, just does a really nice job. Young lady that comes in second uh, is much of the same. Uh, it's just the little things. Uh, a second or two can make a difference uh, when you get into these tougher showmanship classes. Uh, same thing with the young lady that's going to round us out in third. Uh, her goat gave her a little bit of trouble, but she hung with it. Uh, did a really nice job as well. Congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to our 18-year-old fitting and showing exhibitors. In first, Heather Goldman. Second, Megan Thompson. Third, Lily Conaway. Entering the ring now, we have our 17-year-old fitting and showing exhibitors, Caroline Boone, Bryn Kearney, Hannah Haynes, Evan Arnold. If you read down your programs for your 18-year-old class, it should be three, one, two. While our judge is sorting this class of showmen, I'd like to thank our gold sponsors, Bounds Accounting and Tax Services, LLC, Wilson, Wilson Bounds, CBS Farm, the Fieser Family, Cooney's Heating and Air Conditioning, LLC, Joe Cooney, Getz Candy Company, Incorporated, Full Moon Farm, Limeborough, Kim and Scott Del Tuva, Whitetail Acres, The Haynes Family, Marilyn Printhouse, Andrew Boone, Sheepman Supply, and RF Warner Sons Incorporated.
another good group of showmen here. Uh, two young ladies up top do a fantastic job. Uh, uh, I guess for me, uh, I just got a couple uh, better looks at times from the young lady that's going to go ahead and lead us off here. Uh, we're always, uh, always in the right place at the right time. Uh, young lady that comes in seconds, one that I think does a really good job. Goat's giving her a little bit of trouble this morning, but uh, she handles it really well and uh, does so with a smile, and I appreciate that. Young lady uh, that comes out in third here, uh, another one that uh, does a really good job, maybe maybe just missed a couple of little things. Uh, same goes for the young man that will round us out here. Uh, congratulations to everybody. Congratulations to our 17-year-old exhibitors. Entering the ring now, we have our 16-year-old exhibitors, Grace Conway, Allison Schultz, Josie Dell, Alexia Cornett, Holly Narr, and Peyton Zepp. Results from our 17-year-old division are as follows. Hannah Haynes first, Caroline Boone second, Bryn Kearney third, and Evan Arnold fourth. In the lineup area, we will need our senior fitting and showing exhibitors age 14, Gannon Heckler, Mason Arnold, Tyler Burrell, Brandon Paul, and Colleen Haynes. For those of you who are a little hungry this morning, right behind us, Tubby's is serving breakfast. I've heard really good things about their sausage gravy over tater tots. I've heard that's excellent. Also, if you want to go for a little walk this morning, Dutch Corner is serving in the Burns Hall at this time if you'd like to sit down and have a bite to eat. Thank you.
another really good group of showmen here. Uh, I guess the uh, young lady that leads us off uh, does so. Uh, she just always gives me the right looks, always in the right place at the right time, and uh, just uh, gets along really well for me. Young ladies in second and third, it uh, doesn't help that uh, their goats look like they woke up with a little more uh, pep than I did this morning before I had some coffee. Uh, but uh, two showmen, I think, do a really nice job. Uh, just a couple little things uh, that get them there, but uh, congratulations to everybody. Uh, a lot of good showmen here. Results of our senior fitting and showing, age 16, first Josie Dell, second Grace Conaway, third Allison Schultz. Reading down your program, two, three, one. Entering the ring now, we have our senior division, age 15, Alexia Cornett, Holly Narr, and Peyton Zepp. Noah Guyman has been moved to... I believe our champion of champions division, which will be at the end of the show, David Guyman. We're going to fix um, the placings for the last class. Reading down your program, it should be three, Grace Conaway, two, Allison Schultz, one, Josie Dell. In the lineup area, we should have senior fitting and showing age 14, Gannon Heckler, Mason Arnold, Tyler Burrell, Brandon Paul, Colleen Haynes. We also need to start getting our class winners and seconds in the lineup area. From our 18-year-old division, we'll need Heather Goldman and Megan Thompson, 17, Hannah Haynes and Caroline Boone, and 16, Josie Dell and Allison Schultz.
Another really, really good class of showmen here. Uh, ones that I think all do a tremendous job for me. Young lady that wins, uh, maybe just at times is a little more intense, uh, maybe a little more aggressive in some areas. Uh, maybe she's uh, just gives me a couple looks that uh, get her where she's at. Young lady that comes out in second, uh, definitely not quite as aggressive or intense, but I don't think she has to be. Uh, she's always in the right spot at the right time. Um, just it's little things. It's sort of good pair of showmen this morning, and uh, right now, for now, that's where she's going to be. Young lady that rounds us out here, uh, another one that does a really good job. Uh, it's just the little, the little things and the nitty-gritty details that land her there, uh, but a superb class of showmen. Congratulations to everybody. That's it. Let's give these 15-year-olds a great round of applause. That was an excellent class. Results of class D, age 15-year-old, Alexia Cornett, one, Holly Nar, two, Peyton Zepp, three, reading down your program, one, two, three. Next in the ring will be our senior fitting and showing, age 18, I mean 14 year old exhibitors. We should have five entries. There's a correction Brandon Paul is a scratch. So we should have four entries in this class. I encourage um, our younger 4-H'ers to please come ringside. Please come ringside and watch some of our senior showmen. This is an excellent way to learn and to see how the judge is having his ring set up and how you use the ring.
another good class of showmen here. Uh, young lady is going to lead us off. Uh, just on top of things from the time she hit the ring, uh, always in the right place at the right time, always uh, making sure that she's right and uh, getting, the, getting the small uh, details uh, worked out the whole time. Does a really nice job for me. Young man in uh, second uh, does a nice job as well. Uh, maybe a couple little things land him there. Uh, same for the young man in uh, third over here. Um, but... Uh, Another nice class of showmen. Um, maybe just some little things we need to work on uh, as we get down into two, three, and four. Uh, but congratulations to everybody. Entering the ring now is our champion senior fitting and showing division. From the 18-year-old division, we will have Heather Goldman. 17-year-old division, we have Hannah Haynes. 15-year-old, 16-year-old division, we have Josie Dell. 15-year-olds, Alexia Cornett. 14. Colleen Haynes. Our second place division, 18 year olds, is Megan Thompson. 17, Caroline Boone. 16, Allison Schultz. 15, Holly Narr. And 14 year old, Mason Arnold. I'd like to welcome you all to the Eddie Harrison Jr. Memorial Show Ring. This show ring was dedicated in memory of Eddie Jr. and Janie Harrison. This is our senior champion division. We will choose a senior division champion and reserve.
guys another really really good group of showmen here uh come out for our final drive and i don't think it's uh easy and i really hope that the the younger kids in the back there are, are paying attention and maybe standing along ringside because they can definitely pick up some things uh from the group we have here um i, th I think there's uh some really good showmen in this ring uh and I go back and forth between a couple of them uh, in particular. Uh, but I guess for me, the one that's uh, giving me the best look the whole time, uh, one that I liked in class as well, and uh, one that I think's just been solid the whole day so far, uh, it's going to be your young lady on the end right here. Congratulations to Heather Goldman out of our 18-year-old division. Moving into contention for reserve will be Megan Thompson. While we're selecting our senior showmen, we are now ready, getting ready to move into our intermediate showman division, age 13. We should have Riley Dell, Hannah Staub, Marie McCullough, Rihanna Granger, Estella Gover, and Alyssa Costa lined up for our next class. Well, our second comes out, and I think it uh, doesn't make it any easier. I uh, still have a really, really good group of showmen here. Uh, I guess for me, there's two in particular that stand out. Um, as it comes down to the little things, uh, are we getting them uh, set right, or what makes your animal look the best, and uh, knowing how to try to hide some things or try to cover them up in a little bit to give you an edge uh, goes a long ways, and I guess for me, uh, as I go back and forth between the two I have in my mind, uh, the one I'm going to land on today is going to be a young lady right here. Congratulations to Alexia Cornett, Reserve Senior Showman. We are now going to move right into our intermediate fitting and showing exhibitor age 13. There should be six entries in this class. We would like to take this opportunity to thank our sponsors. Our champion senior fitting and showing award was sponsored by David and Michelle Parrish. Our reserve champion senior fitting and showing award was sponsored by the Majenovich family, Bounds Accounting and Tax Services, LLC. Thank you for your support. Exhibitors, meat goat exhibitors, if you were fortunate enough today to receive one of these awards, please don't forget to send your thank you notes. Mm -hmm. 
Another message about thank you notes, they are pre-addressed and stamped coming with your award. So all you have to do is write your note to your sponsor and drop it in the mail. Please do not forget to do that. Without these sponsors, these wonderful awards would not be possible.
attention in the meat goat area, attention in the meat goat area. If you are planning to sell a goat Friday night, you must participate in showmanship. If you're scratching from showmanship and you have goats here, you will not ha you will not be able to sell Friday night. Showmanship is one of our requirements. Thank you. Another good group of uh, young ladies here in our intermediate showmanship. Um, young lady that leads us off, I think, just uh, does does so because she's always uh, using the right, right kind, leaving herself the right kind of room within the ring. Always uh, has her goat stuck there and always giving me the right kind of look. Um, get down into the rest of these showmen, and I, I think it gets pretty tight. Uh, you know. It, there's not one that uh, stands out within the rest of the group as uh, has to go second or has to go here or there, but uh, just a very solid group of showmen. Uh, maybe just some little things to get them up to the next step and go ahead and get them up to the top of the class there, but a really, really good group of showmen throughout. For our intermediate fitting and showing, age 12, we should have lined up Jaden Fieser Favorite, MR Allerball, Hunter Huff, Braden Vanderwart, Patrick Barber, Elena Huff, Enoff, David Guyman, and Allison Paul, and Deanna Seikert.
Guys, another really good class of showmen here. Uh, I think it gets pretty tight. <clears throat> Excuse me, in between one and two. Uh, pair of showmen that I think do a fantastic job. Uh, they never give you bad looks at all. Uh, they're always on top of things. Uh, I think it probably just comes down to, to splitting a few hairs and uh, honestly where you split them. Uh, but a fantastic pair of showmen up top here that I think do a wonderful, wonderful job. We get into the third, fourth, and fifth over here. Uh, another group of showmen that I think uh, do do a, w a nice job. Uh, maybe not quite as quick on uh, some things as the the pair ahead of them. Maybe not quite as uh, fast uh, on some of our uh, knowing where I am and uh, getting our feet set and uh, being at the right place at the right time. Uh, but very nice group of showmen all the way around. Results of our intermediate fitting and showing exhibitors age 12, first to Brant Braden Vanderwart, second to Elena Enoff, third to Deanna Seikert, fourth to Jaden Fieser Favorite, and fifth to Patrick Barber. Reading down your program, we have four scratch, scratch, one, five, two, scratch, scratch, three. In the ring now, we have our age 11 intermediate fitting and showing class. We have Taryn Runshaw, Mason Vandervoort, and Brennan Harrison. We should have on deck our intermediate 13-year-old showman from our Estella Gover first and Alyssa Costa, Brandon Vandervoort, and Elena Enoff both lined up in our staging area for selection of our champion intermediate fitting and showing, which will happen immediately following this class. Another good group of intermediate showmen here, guys, and I'm going to leave them as they stand. Young lady uh, came to me first, I think does a really nice job for me. Uh, one that's always in the right place at the right time and doing the little things right. Uh, just hit me the right way uh, from the start. Uh, never gave me a bad look afterwards. Young lady that comes in second, uh, it's much the same. Maybe just a couple little things like leaving ourselves a little bit more room here. Uh, just, just some little things of that nature can sort them there. Uh, then a young man that uh, rounds us out here, another one that does a good job, maybe just uh, be a little bit more uh, focused on 
getting uh getting where I want you uh, and give me the right kind of looks and getting them set up uh, a little bit quicker, uh, but a really good group of showmen here. Congratulations to our 11-year-old exhibitors. Let's give them a round of applause for an excellent job. First place went to Taryn Runshaw, second to Mason, Mason Vandervoort, and third to Brennan Harrison. If you're following along in our programs, reading down, it should be one scratch, two, three. Entering the ring now is our champion and reserve champion intermediate fitting and showing division. The following 4-H exhibitors will be entering the ring. In our 13-year-old division, Estella Gover. 12-year-old division, Braden Vandervoort and our 11-year-old division, Taryn Runshaw. Our second places in our intermediate showman division are as follows. 13-year-old Alyssa Costa, 12-year-old Elena Enoff, and 11-year-old Mason Vandervoort. Good luck to you all. Good morning. Can we have Lane Huff's parents and Lloyd Arbaugh's parents or a representative parent please come see Andy Cashman at ringside? Lane Huff and Lloyd Arbaugh's parents, please come see Andy at ringside. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our judge. Our judge is Mr. Cole Reeves. He is from Churchville, Virginia. He grew up and active in the 4-H and FFA programs in Virginia. His passion was livestock judging. He went on to judge at a junior college and then on to a senior college, participated and won many, many livestock judging events through his career. He graduated from college in the spring of 21, and we are so happy to have him here with us today. If you could give him a big round of applause, he's doing an outstanding job. Thank you.
really good group of intermediate showmen out here. Uh, the three that stand in front of me, uh, I think I could pick any one, and uh, they've made me look good. To uh, make my decision look good because they're all doing a fantastic job. Um, I guess I go back and forth. Uh, I've asked them some questions throughout the day, and uh, they all answered them really well. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a tough decision, uh, but I guess for me, a young lady on the end's just done the best job for me thus far. I go ahead and use her to win. Congratulations to Taryn Runshaw. Our 11-year-old showman on champion intermediate showman coming into contention is Mason Vandervoort from our 11-year-old class. Come on over here, Mason. Our young lady uh, in the second there comes out, and I've been watching the seconds back here, and uh, she was one that did a good job in class and did a good job over here. Um, for me, uh, I, I go back and forth still between uh, a couple of them here. Um, I guess the, the one that does it the best for me right now and uh, it always uh, gives me the best looks is the other young lady on the end right uh, She'll go ahead and be your reserve. Congratulations to our reserve intermediate champion showman, Estella Gover. We are now moving right into our junior fitting and showing classes. We will start with our age 10 exhibitors, Lane Huff, Macy Cagle, Anna Lynn Smith, Addison Wagner, Owen Heckler, Shane Smith, Gwen Boyle. We would like to thank our sponsors who took care of our Intermediate Champion and Reserve Awards. The Champion Award was sponsored by Whitetail Acres Farms, the Haynes Family, and the Majinovich Family, Bounds Counting and Tax Services, LLC, for their support of Reserve Champion Fitting and Showing Award. Please give our sponsors, all of our sponsors, a round of applause. Just a little announcement. We do have a few things happening today on the fairgrounds. Today's children's activities is taking place at the upper tent by the food stands between 9 and 2. 
Of course, we're here at the Goat Show. The Dining Hall, Dutch Corner, opens at 11 a.m. And the Chicken Man and Hot Dog Races will be here on and off for the rest of the day. 3 p.m., our Swine Showmanship opens. And we have the Salem Bottom Boys this evening playing. Tomorrow, we have the Western Horse Show that starts at 8 a.m., Livestock judging contestants, that starts at 10 a.m. There is a misprint in the catalog. It will be 10 a.m. for livestock judging. Also tomorrow, the pig show will be here. The market swine show will start at 6 p.m. Please check your schedule. There's plenty to do while you're here at the fair. Winding up in our staging area should be our nine-year-old showmanship exhibitors, Grayson Cromer, Madison Myers, and Lauren Seikert. Following that will be our eight-year-old novice showman. We have Kenley Cagle, Hope Reidinger, Reagan Fieser Favorite, Aubrey Hennigan, Lloyd Arbaugh, and Jacob Guyman. Please start getting your goats ready to head to the ring.
really competitive group uh, of junior showmen here, uh, both young ladies up top, I think uh, do a tremendous job. Uh, there's things that each of them do that uh, at times I think could go one way or the other. Uh, ultimately, I land on the young lady right here, but uh, very, very good group of showmen there. Uh, so we get back into the ones we have over here, I don't think it's any different. A uh, young man in third does an extremely nice job, maybe just uh, just a shot slower than two ahead of him on some on some couple of turns here and there. Uh, young lady that comes out in fourth and fifth here, uh, they do a really nice job as well. Uh, maybe just a uh, couple small details that sort them there. Uh, two young men that are around us out here do a nice job as well. Uh, maybe just a couple... Uh, couple of small things uh getting a couple of the basics down still a little bit here and there uh, but extremely good group of showmen and congratulations to them all Results of our 10-year-old exhibitor showmanship class. First, Addison Wagner. Second, to Gwen Boyle. Third, to Shane Smith. Fourth, Macy Cagle. Fifth, Anna Lynn Smith. Sixth, Owen Heckler. Seventh, Elaine Huff. Reading down your program, seven, four, five, one, six, three, two. In the ring now... We have our junior fitting and showing exhibitors, age nine. We should have three exhibitors. Lining up for our next class should be Kenley Cagle, Hope Ridinger, Reagan Fieser Favorite, Audrey Hennigan, Lloyd Arbaugh, and Jacob Guyman. Attention in the barn, attention in the barn. The wash rack near the swine area is now open. Weigh-in is over. The wash rack near the swine department is now open. Weigh-in is over. Thank you. We would like to announce some of our sponsors for the Meat Goat Department, Black Rock 4-H Club, the Boone Family, the Cashman Family, Wyatt, Casey, and Rye, Falling Leaf Farm, the Conaway Family, DLG Farms, the Guyman Family, the Mill of Bel Air, the Holloway Family, Carrie Hook in memory of Linda Hook, Limeboro 4-H Club, John Lamb, 
Lamb Awards and Engraving, Tanglewoods Boar Goats, Tracy and Mike LaRue, Ronnie, Melissa, Samantha, and Casey Majinovich, North Carroll Veterinary Services Incorporated, Dr. K. Wagner, David and Michelle Parrish, and Soggy Acres, the Anthony family. In addition, we want to remind our exhibitors, if you have been fortunate enough today to win one of these wonderful prizes, to please fill out your thank you note. There is a self-addressed envelope in your award. All you have to do is fill it out and drop it in the mail. Thank you. Another really exciting group of uh, junior showmen here. I think the top two uh, ladies here do a really, really nice job. I think it's, uh, I think it's close uh, for me. Young lady that wins uh, is a little bit more attentive to fixing, her, getting her feet right. Uh, maybe she missed a couple spots here and there uh, as far as knowing where I am and keeping her goad in between me and her at all times. And that's probably where the young lady in seconds a bit better. Uh, she's very intent and focused on me the entire time. Maybe mixes, misses fixing a, a foot here or there, uh, but I think you could go either way. A really good group of showmen. Young man that rounds us out, does a nice job as well. Maybe just a tad slower on a, on a couple of little things there, uh, but a very good class uh, showmanship. Congratulations to our nine-year-old exhibitors, first to Lyon Seigert, second to Madison Myers, third to Grayson Cromer. Reading down your program, three, two, one. We now have our last class of junior fitting and showing, age eight exhibitors. There should be six entries. We will then move directly into our champion junior fitting and showing and reserve selection and then into our grand champion selection.
Another really good group of young showmen here. Young lady that's going to lead us off. Uh, one that just never gives you a bad look. She always knows where I'm at. Always knows uh, what needs to be done as far as her animal is concerned. Uh, just does a really nice job for me. Uh, young man, uh, this goat's giving a little bit of trouble here, but uh, another one that's very uh, intent on where I'm at. Uh, always keeps his goat in between me and uh, him. Uh, even uh, in between him and his goat having their little... Uh, uh, fight there. Uh, he's always uh, trying to do the right thing, and uh, I think just a really good showman all the way around. A uh, young lady in third, I think it's a lot of the same. Uh, for me, it was just, just a couple minute details. I uh, wasn't as quick. Uh, maybe he missed a, missed a spot here or there for me, uh, but a really good showman as well. Two uh, young man and young lady that are around us out here, uh, much the same. Maybe just getting a few more of the, the small details and the fundamentals down still, uh, but a good group of showmen nonetheless. Results of our eight-year-old showmanship class. Reagan Fieser favorite first. Jacob Guyman second, Kinley Cagle third, Hope Riddinger fourth, and Lloyd Arbaugh fifth. Reading down your program, three, four, one, scratch, five, two. Entering the ring now will be our champion, intermediate champion junior fitting and showing division and reserve. Entering the ring, we have Addison Wagner, age 10. Lauren Seichert, age nine, and Reagan Fieser favorite, age eight. Our second places in the junior division is Gwen Boyle, Madison Myers, and Jacob Guyman. So we come out uh, here for the final drive of our jun junior showmanship. Uh, I think we got a group of kids in here that have done a good job all morning for us. Um, I guess for me, uh, the one that's been the fastest all day, that's always been in the right place, that's given me the best looks consistently, it's going to be the young lady on the end right here. Congratulations to our junior fitting and showing. Winner is Addison Wagner and she is out of the 10-year-old division. Her award was sponsored by the Boone family and Tanglewood Boar Goats. 
coming into contention for reserve is Gwen Boyle. Immediately following, this will be the selection of our grand champion fitting and showing and reserve grand champion fitting and showing. We are looking for our champion senior Heather Goldman and reserve Alexia Cornett, our champion intermediate showman Taryn Runshaw and reserve Estella Gover, and our champion junior Addison Wagner. Well, I know I've already said we have a really good group of showmen here. Uh, I guess the one that does it, uh, the next best for me, uh, is uh, the one that uh, came to me as a pair out of that class uh, we just had our grand out of. The young lady here does a fantastic job. She'll be your reserve. Congratulations to Gwen Boyle out of our 10-year-old showmanship class for Reserve Junior Showman. Gwen's award was sponsored by the Majenovich family and Bounds Accounting and Tax Services, LLC. We're going to be moving directly into our grand and reserve grand selection. From our senior division, we have Miss Heather Goldman. Our intermediate division, Miss Taryn Runshaw, and our junior division, Miss Addison Wagner. In contention for reserve, out of our senior division, Alexia Cornett, intermediate division, Estella Gover, and junior division, Gwen Boyle. Immediately following the selection of our grand and reserve grand fitting and showing, we are going to be doing our champions challenge. For those of you not familiar with our champions challenge, we have 4-Hers who have won grand champion in years past, and they still are within 4-H age. They are all brought back to compete with this year's grand champion. Those 
exhibitors we will be looking for for the Champions Challenge are Allison Stoner, Kaylee Cooney, and David Guyman. Well, I think we've had a lot of good showmen all day, and we get to the final drive, and it's no different, and it's easy to see uh, why these young people have landed themselves here. Uh, I guess for me, the, the one that uh, hit me the hardest uh, from the time that uh, she was in class and the one that uh, did a really nice job in the division and the one that's still doing a great job, uh, Grand Champion's going to be a young lady right here. Congratulations to Miss Heather Goldman for winning Grand Champion Fitting and Showing. She was out of our senior division. Coming into contention for reserve is Alexia Cornett. Well, there's still three really, really competitive showmen in front of us here. Uh, uh, and there's two of them who uh, might not get a piece of it today, but I think their day is certainly going to come because they're definitely very, very good showmen. Uh, I guess for me, a uh, young lady out of the senior division, uh, just a very good showman, very focused, uh, just does the best job for me today. Congratulations to all of you guys. Congratulations to Miss Alexia Cornett. Will be our reserve grand champion fitting and showing exhibitor. Right now we will be moving into our champions challenge. Again, these are exhibitors that have won grand champion showmanship and are still of 4-H age. age. We have this year's grand champion, Heather Goldman, David Guyman, Allison Stoner, and Kaylee Cooney. Good luck to each of you. I would like to thank Falling Leaf Farms, Tanglewood Boar Goats for sponsoring our Reserve Grand Champion Award, and Whitetail Acres, the Haynes family, for sponsoring our Grand Champion Fitting and Showing Award, and I would like to thank the Boone family, Carrie Hook, in memory of Linda Hook, for sponsoring our Champions Challenge Award. We will be taking pictures at the backdrop 
for all our division champions and reserves immediately following the champions challenge. We also need all 18 year old senior meet goat exhibitors to report to the backdrop immediately following the presentation of the champions challenge. Well, another really good group of showmen, and I said it earlier, but I hope there's some young people here standing ringside that are taking some notes, because uh, we have a very competitive group of showmen standing before us. Uh, none, none of them miss a beat. I mean, they're all uh, very on top of things. I guess uh, at that point, it kind of comes down to a little bit of, you know, what's your style? What do you like to see? Uh, uh, some small details of that nature. Uh, I guess the one that I uh, kind of latched on to initially and uh, has continued to give me the right look, uh, has continued to be in the right place, is going to be our young man right here. Congratulations to our Champions Challenge exhibitor, David Guyman. Now, listen very carefully. We have a few important directions. If you have a champion, grand champion, or reserve, please report to the backdrop at this time. Wyatt is there, and we'll be taking pictures. I need the following 18-year-olds to report to the backdrop also. Lily Conaway, Heather Goldman, Megan Thompson, and Allison Stoner. Every year, it is kind of bittersweet to make this announcement. Our age 18 year old exhibitors, this is their last year, and I know many, many of these exhibitors have been showing in this ring since they were eight years old. We want to we wish each and every one of them a wonderful journey and come back and help us here in the 4 H program because truly, once you're a 4 H'er, you are always a 4 H'er. Full Moon Farm is here to present our 4-H'ers, our outgoing 4-H'ers with their awards. They sponsored these wonderful awards for us this year. They are here to make their presentation. So let's please have those four 18-year-old seniors make their way to the backdrop. Again, good luck and best wishes to Lily Conaway, Heather Goldman, Megan Thompson, and Allison Stoner.
Kim and Scott Del Tuva from Falling Leaf Farms is here to present their awards. I also need the following two goat exhibitors to report to the show ring, Miss Lauren Seikert and Riley Dell. Kim, please, Lauren and Riley, please report to the show ring at this time. We're waiting for Riley Dell. Attention in the livestock area. They are selling two for one breakfast sandwiches at Tubby's right now. Two for one breakfast sandwiches are being sold at Tubby's. If you're still a little hungry and you need a breakfast sandwich, head on over to Tubby's. We're going to move right from our backdrop pictures into um, the meat goat show. So exhibitors, be ready. I know Riley, they're tracking Riley down right now.
Come on in the ring, Riley. Come on in the ring. Join Lauren. You're not in trouble. Come on in the ring. It's good news. Congratulations to Lauren Seichert and Riley Dell. 4-H exhibitors have to meet a certain requirement for rate of gain for each of our species. In the meat goat department, it is 0.2 pounds a day. This year we had a tie. Both of these young ladies had their goats gain 44 pounds from weigh-in in May till yesterday, and they gained 50. 0.557 pounds per day. So congratulations to our two rate of gain winners, Lauren Seigert and Riley Dell. We're gonna say five minutes, five minutes before we start our meat goat show, market show. Our lightweight class should start gathering in the makeup ring. Kaylee Cooney, Addison Wagner, Patrick Barber, Josie Dell, Tyler Burrell, Patrick Barber, and Anna Lynn Smith. These goats will weigh between 47 and 54 pounds. Five minutes.
And here we go with our first class of meat goats in the market show. Kaylee Cooney, Addison Wagner, Patrick Barber, Josie Dell, Tyler Burrell, Patrick Barber, and Anna Lynn Smith. Our goats in this class are going to weigh between 47 and 54 pounds. This is lightweight class 1A. On standby, we need our class 1B, Kaylee Cooney, Gwen Boyle, Mason Vandervoort, Grayson Cromer, Elena Enoff.
Pretty exciting top pair uh, to lead us off here in the lightweight division. A uh, young lady that's going to go ahead and start the class. Uh, I think one that's pretty exciting. Uh, the way he puts together the right kind of muscularity with a pretty unique build. Uh, one that, for me, within the pair just starts to be, uh, starts wider chested. Uh, comes with a little bit more around us about it, and that's what allows him to build in the right kind of muscle shape up high. Probably just a shot more than the young lady that comes in second. Uh, goat here that still has enough, uh, enough muscle for me. Still comes with a decent look, uh, but one that just starts to give up uh, a little bit in terms of his pin set and lower leg when you get in behind him. Uh, <laughs> young lady that comes out next uh, goat there that I think is built pretty good from the side and actually surprises you when you get your hands on him uh, one that's got some rack shape one that's uh, actually pretty decent in terms of his body shape and as you come back uh, to the edge of his loin there uh, I think it's just the same deal you get in front of him behind him I just want to open that one up a shot uh, same thing with the young man's uh, goat that comes next here. One that can give you a decent look. Uh, just not quite as round body as one ahead of him. One that's not quite as impressive when you get your hands on him. Young lady that comes next. Uh, one that uh, can give you a decent look from the side. Just gets a little bit too sharp over the top side of that one. Uh, I'd like to see that one come a little bit fresher and more impressive from a muscularity standpoint up high. The same deal as we round out the class here. Uh, some goats that I just want to open up uh, from a width and dimension and power standpoint, uh, but a very good class to start the day. <sighs> I'd like to congratulate our lightweight 1A class exhibitors, Addison Wagner 1, Patrick Barber 2, Kaylee Cooney 3, Tyler Burrell 4, Josie Dell 5, Anna Lynn Smith 6, and Patrick Barber 7. There are two separate programs floating around. I will read down the second program that was printed, so if it's not lining up, that's because there's two separate programs. Reading down three, one, two, five, four, seven, six. In the ring now, we have class 1B, lightweight market goats, Kaylee Cooney, Gwen Boyle, Mason Vandervoort, Grayson Cromer, and Elena Enoff. These goats are weighing between 55 and 61 pounds. I've been making the announcement today about all our wonderful GOATS show sponsors. I want to take this opportunity to thank the Carroll County Fair sponsors. Truly, if it wasn't for them, we would not have, the exhibitors would not have this opportunity to do everything they're doing here at the fair this week. So sponsors for the Carroll County Fair Gold Sponsor Division, the Maryland State Fair, Info Pathways, Freedom, McGrew, Carroll County Ag Center, Bounds Incorporated Insurance, Hydley's Landscaping Supply, Bear Truck Center, Lou Strum, Carroll County Times, M.T. Laney, C.J. Miller, Bauman's Legacy Septic, Stansberry Tree, S.T.I., Rippian Equipment, Hoover's, WTTR, Lippy Brothers, Carol Media Center, HTI, 
Stamball's Welding, Ben's Rentals, Finch Services, in memory of Taylor Barnes, Stanley's, Staley's Body Shop, and Maryland Print House. We'd like to thank all our gold sponsors. Another good class of lightweight goats here. I think it can get pretty tight on the top end. Uh, ultimately, I side with the young lady's goat uh, here because uh, that one just hits me the, with the hardy shape behind his shoulder. He's the best over his loin edge. And comparatively there, that one's just a little bit better to turn to his rib and starts wider in terms of his chest and still comes uh, with, a, with the kind of look from the side I can live with. Uh, that's where I actually like the young man in second a shot better, one that gives you a little shot more unique kind of a look from the side, a little bit better in terms of his chest floor and bottom line balance, but one that I just wish was a bit more expressive over the top side of his skeleton. Young lady that comes in third, uh, one that I think is uh, plenty muscular for me, uh, maybe not quite as hard touching as our winner and maybe not quite as unique from the side as the one we have in second. I think that's why she just kind of fits in third today. Young lady that comes out next. Uh, one that I think can give you a pretty decent look. Uh, better in the turn to a rib than the goat uh, that follows him. More importantly, one that I think is just a bit better in terms of the muscle shape that he's got over the top of her skeleton there. Goat that's going to round us out today. One that I think uh, can give you a pretty decent silhouette. This can be fun to study from the side. Biggest issues when you get your hands on him. That one's just too sharp over its rack. Wish that one just came with a bit more expression up high. Entering the ring now is Class 1C Lightweight Market Goats. These goats will range in weight from 61 to 63 pounds. Tyler Burl, Elena Enoff, Jacob Guyman, Madison Myers, Bryn Kearney, Mason Vandervoort, and Rihanna Granger. Results for our, our Class 1B market goats. Elena Enoff, 1. Grayson Cromer, 2. Gwen Boyle, 3. Mason Vandervoort, 4. And Kylie Cooney, 5th. Reading down your program, 5, 3, 4, 2, 1. In standby should be our Class 1D Lightweight market goats, Braden Vandervoort, Marie McCullough, Gannon Heckler, Addison Wagner, Hope Ridinger, Owen Heckler, Reagan Fieser favorite. Again, that would be class 1D, should start making their way to the makeup area.
Another really nice pair to lead us off here. Uh, I go back and forth a little bit. Uh, two goats uh, that I think can both give you a decent look at times. Some def definitely some differences there. Ultimately, a young lady that leads. Uh, that's just the harder touching one. Uh, that's a little bit fresher behind his shoulder. A little bit better back over his loin edge there. Uh, one that still counts with plenty of chest width. Dimension from behind. Maybe uh, he want to change that one in terms of his build a little bit. He gets out a little bit in the point of his shoulder. Gets a little bit longer passing for me. That's where I like the young lady in second a shot better. That one's a little bit shorter and better in terms of his shoulder there. A lot stronger in terms of his pastern. Uh, issues there. He gets your hands on him. That one's just, uh, that dough's just a little bit softer to the touch. Maybe not quite as expressive, uh, but a very nice pair to lead. Nice pair to lead us off here. Young man that comes out next, uh, pretty muscular goat, uh, as big chested, uh, big footed and big in terms of his forearm. Uh, one that I just don't get quite as excited about from a build aspect. One that maybe gives up in a few places uh, to the pair ahead of him. Young lady that comes out next. Uh, one that uh, can give you, excuse me, can give you a decent look. Uh, issues there. Uh, maybe just not quite as big footed or, or opened up uh, from a width and dimension standpoint as the one ahead of it. Uh, one just like to change a little bit in that aspect. Goats that are around us out here. Uh, all ones that I think uh, have some good pieces for me, ones that I just wish came with more chest width and roundness of body and dimension throughout uh, to go ahead and get any higher. Congratulations to our Class 1C lightweight exhibitors. First, Elena Enoff. Second, Rihanna Granger. Third, Jacob Guyman. Fourth, the Bryn Kearney. Fifth to Tyler Burrell, sixth to Madison Myers, and seventh to Mason Vandervoort. Entering the ring now is Class 1D Lightweight Goats, 64 to 672 pounds. Class D runs 64 to 72 pounds. We'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our 2020 Miss Carroll County Agriculture Farm Bureau Queen, Miss Sierra Ween. She's also Miss Maryland Agriculture, second runner-up, and was the 2019-2020 Maryland FFA Secretary, and Sierra Hales from New Windsor. Thank you for joining us today, Sierra. Let's give her a round of applause. Our judge today is Mr. Cole Reeves from Church Hill, Virginia. He grew up in Virginia raising cattle, participating in 4-H and FFA, FFA. His true passion came about in the form of livestock judging, which led him to both a junior and senior colleges where he participated on the livestock judging team. Cole went on to participate and win many major livestock judging events throughout his career and graduated in May and has returned to do some judging here for us today. Thank you, Judge Reeves, for coming into Maryland today.
Another really nice one. The ladies off here in the lightweights. Uh, young ladies, uh, young ladies go there. Uh, one that I think she just hit me hard uh, from the time he hit the ring. Uh, one that's very uh, neat in terms of his chest floor, very athletic bodied. Uh, and then comes the right round of the body. Uh, extremely impressive when you put your hands on him up there uh, behind his shoulder and back over his loin edge. Just a very, very solid goat to lead us off here. Um, young man that comes out next, uh, his dough probably gives up a bit from a muscularity standpoint for me, not quite as wide chested or opened up throughout, uh, but one that can give you a decent look at times, and when you do get your hands on him, she does surprise you a bit in terms of still coming with the right kind of rack shape uh, and dimension back over that one's loin. A uh, young man that comes out next here, uh, another red dough uh, that I think has some pieces uh, of some quality here and there, one that has some more muscle. Uh, Maybe gives up just enough uh, for, in a muscularity standpoint to fall into third here. Uh, so then we come to the next young man here in fourth. Uh, one that I think uh, might be better in the turn to have read in the uh, double ahead of him there. Uh, but one that I still think needs to be opened up uh, just a shot more, uh, especially when you get in behind him. Goats that are around us out here today. Uh, Next two are just ones that I think need to come with more muscle and dimension uh, to slide any higher. Young lady that comes uh, round out for class here uh, probably has a little bit uh, of a better touch than some of the ones ahead of her. Uh, big issue for me is that one just gets a little bit deeper and plainer about her chest. Uh, one that uh, starts to give up a little bit more from a quality and build standpoint, but another good height weights there. Entering the ring now is class 1E, lightweight goats. We have four entries, Reagan Fieser favorite, David Guyman, Jaden Fieser favorite, and Shane Smith. Goats in class 1E range in weight from 72 to 75 pounds. Results of Class 1D Lightweight Goats, 1 Addison Wagner, 2 Braden Vandervoort, 3 Owen Heckler, 4 Gannon Heckler, 5 Reagan Fieser Favorite, 6 Marie McCullough, 7 Hope Ridinger. Reading down your program, 2, 6, 4, 1, 7, Three, five. In the ring now, we have our Class 1E lightweight goats, ranging in weight from 72 to 75 pounds. Immediately following this, we will have the selection of our lightweight division and reserve lightweight market goats. We need the following exhibitors. Addison Wagner with the goat weighing 49 pounds. Patrick Barber with his goat weighing 52 pounds. From Class 1B, Elena Enoff and Grayson Cromer. Class 1C, Elena Enoff and Brianna Granger. And Class D, Addison Wagner and Brayden Vandervoort.
Another good class of lightweights here. A uh, young man that's going to lead us off. Just one that I think is uh, extremely nice in this class. One that gives you the right kind of look uh, and silhouette when it gets him stuck here. Uh, real athletic body, big chested uh, weather there that still comes with the right kind of muscularity to complement it. Uh, one that I'm pretty fond of here in this class. Young lady that comes out next, uh, I guess I think it's kind of close here between second and third. Uh, for me, that one's just a little bit better back over his loin edge there. One that I think uh, might just be a shot better than the turn to his rib. Uh, young, man's, young man's doe that comes in third here. Uh, I think there is some give and take. Uh, one that I think might be a little bit better uh, when he's studying from the side in terms of his chest and bottom line there. Uh, but one that I think's not quite as good back over his edges. Uh, Young man's going to round us out. Uh, doe there that can give you a decent look when he gets here propped up. Uh, one that just starts too narrow in terms of its chest here today. Uh, one that I just want to see come with a shot more dimension and power. Another nice class. Results of our Class 1E lightweight market goats to first place to David Guyman, second place to Reagan Fieser Favorite, third to Jaden Fieser Favorite, and fourth to Shane Smith. Entering our ring now is our selection of our lightweight market goat and reserve. Competing for champion from Class 1A, Miss Addison Wagner, with a goat weighing 49 pounds. From Class B, Elena Enoff, with a goat weighing 61 pounds. Class 1C, Elena Enoff, with a goat weighing 61 pounds. Class D, Addison Wagner, with a goat weighing 67 pounds. And Class E, David Guyman, with a goat weighing 73 pounds. In contention for reserve, we have Patrick Barber out of Class A, 52 pounds. Grayson Cromer out of Class B, with a goat weighing 59 pounds. Class 1C, with a goat weighing 63 pounds, is Rihanna Granger. Class D with a goat wing, 64 pounds, is Braden Vandervoort. And Class E with a goat wing, 72 pounds, is Reagan Fieser Favorite.
You guys are really exciting. Uh, lightweight drive to start the uh, day off here. Uh, to go back through these things, uh, young man out of her light class here. Uh, goat that I think's built really well. Uh, maybe uh, get in here with some of these heavier weight goats. Uh, maybe starts to give up a little bit in terms of muscle. Young lady that comes next. Uh, goat that can give you a pretty decent look from the side. One that I think's very square and fresh when you get your hands on him. Uh, maybe one that doesn't quite have some unique pieces of some of the other ones in here. Young lady uh, out of out of this division here, uh, goat that can give you a pretty good look. Uh, one that maybe isn't quite as exciting to the touch, uh, but a good looking one nonetheless. Uh, get into our two heavier classes here, and I think that's where uh, where the discussion really is for me. Uh, young lady here, uh, that's a really, really youthful, uh, chested, neat chested, athletic bodied one uh, that I probably like a shot better from the side uh, than another one in particular here. One that I think's really, really squared in terms of his pin set there. Uh, one that hits me pretty hard from a look and quality standpoint, uh, but maybe not quite as hard uh, when you get your hands on him as I'd like. Uh, another goat in here out of our heavier class here. Uh, one that's uh, very impressive from a muscularity standpoint when you get your hands on him. Very expressive and fresh to the touch uh, and isn't a slouch uh, in terms of some build there. Uh, one that still gives you a look of quality. Uh, I think you could discuss it back and forth uh, with the young man right here is going to be your grand. Congratulations to David Guyman for exhibiting the champion lightweight market goat. His goat weighed 73 pounds, and his award was sponsored by Maryland Print House, Soggy Acres, the Anthony family. Coming into contention is Reagan Fieser favorite with a goat weighing 74 pounds. Our second comes out uh, of our heavier lightweight class there. Uh, definitely one that I think uh, can stand here with the rest of them, but uh, in my mind it's been between two. Uh, from the start of this drive, a uh, young lady's going to be a very competitive this one. Congratulations to Miss Addison Wagner. Out of Class 1D, she has your reserve lightweight market goat with her goat weighing 67 pounds. We're going right into the medium weight market goat division starting with miss starting with miss Jaden Fieser favorite Reagan Fieser favorite Anna Lynn Smith Carolyn Boone and Alexia Cornett medium weight market goats for class A weigh between 76 and 80 pounds these goats will weigh between 76 and 80 pounds The first time we ran the program, this class was missed. So if you have an older program, you're missing this class, but we are waiting for class 4A, medium weight goats. We're looking for Jaden Fieser favorite with a goat weighing 76 pounds, Reagan Fieser favorite with a goat weighing 76 pounds, Anna Lynn Smith, her goat weighs 77 pounds, Caroline Boone, 78 pounds, and Alexia Cornett with a goat wing, 80 pounds. Again, this was a class that was missed in the original program. There should be five goats in the ring. Our next class will be class 4B, medium weight market goats. Lane Huff, Alexia Cornett, 
Macy Cagle, and Allison Schultz. I need to take a minute and recognize our sponsor for our Reserve Champion Lightweight Award. Thank you to Full Moon Farms and Bounds Accounting and Tax Services, LLC. Also, while I'm talking about sponsors, I would like to thank our fair sponsors, Silver Level, Len Stoller and Freedom Sectic, and bronze sponsors, Krauss Ford, Sterling Quality Water, Gray and Sons, Coons Toyota Westminster, SK Roofing, Barnes Bollinger Insurance, Bob's Welding, DWN Roofing, Invisible Fence of Carroll County, and Maryland Mobile Vet. It is lunchtime here at the Carroll County Fair. If you're hungry, don't be afraid to take a walk up the hill and visit Dutch Corner in Burns Hall, serving lunch and dinner. We also have a french fry stand and some other stands up there being run by 4-H and ice cream being dipped by the Farm Bureau or the Young Farmers. And behind me, there's Tubby's and I do see their peach sundaes have made a comeback and they do look really good. Thank you to all our vendors and enjoy your day at the fair.
Nice pair of uh, weather here to get us started in the middleweights. Uh, I guess it uh, can get close at times. A uh, young lady for me that's going to go ahead and win. Uh, that's just the bigger chested, bigger forearm uh, weather there that uh, for me uh, comes a little bit better than the angle to that one. Shoulder, uh, maybe not perfect from a build standpoint, but one that I think uh, maybe better in terms of the shoulder there. Still comes with a lot more feature at the surface. Uh, young lady that comes out next. I like that one uh, when I get my hands on him a bit better. A little bit better in terms of his rack. Better in his loin edge there. Uh, when you get maybe uh, comparatively not quite as opened up in a few places. I'll uh, get that one on the lap and I think he gets a bit tight in his knee and a little bit straight in his shoulder for me. Uh, but a nice one no doubt. Young lady that comes out next. Uh, I think another one, uh, pair right here that I think you could go either way on for a second. Uh, for me I think we got just a little bit wider chested uh, more opened up one ahead here uh, in that red weather Young ladies doe that comes out next though uh, One that I think can give you a decent look from the side Maybe not, a little bit plainer in terms of its neck and chest and the one ahead of it uh, Ultimately for me one I think just starts to give up a little bit more when you get in behind her there uh, Young man that rounds us out here uh, Good bodied uh, kind of weather has got some dimension from behind main things I get my hands on that when it gets a bit peaked and stale and sharp over the top side of him there uh, But a nice class Entering the ring now, we have medium weight market goats, class 4B, entries from Lane Huff, Alexia Cornett, Macy Cagle, and Allison Schultz. Congratulations to our class 4A medium weight exhibitors. First place to Anna Lynn Smith, second to Caroline Boone, third to Reagan Fieser Favorite, fourth to Alexia Cornett, and fifth to Jaden Fieser Favorite. On standby, we would like Class 4C, medium weight market goats, exhibitors Brennan Harrison, Heather Goldman, Taryn Runshaw, Jaden Fieser Favorite, Braden Vandervoort, Shane Smith, and Alexia Cornett.
I think another really competitive pair uh, of weathers uh, to lead us off here, uh, young lady I'm going to side with, and her uh, chromed up one right there. I think uh, does so uh, way combines uh, the right kind of skeletal build with the, enough muscularity. Uh, to me, that one's just the best in terms of the shape of its neck, the way it's tight chested and then right and athletic in terms of its bottom line there. Uh, and then one that still has plenty of muscle when you get over to its top side, get in behind them. Uh, that one's uh, still got plenty for me. The only lady that comes uh, in second here, uh, Goat's dancing around on her, but uh, that's, a, that's a good one, too. Uh, probably, honestly, just a shot wider chested uh, than the one ahead of her there. Uh, real round-bodied, muscular kind of goat that uh, got a real good touch to him. For me, I just don't think that one's quite as unique uh, from a skeletal standpoint. Young lady that comes in third. Uh, goat's got some width and dimension to it. Just gets a little bit plainer to the touch and plainer in terms of design. Young man that comes out next, uh, another one that I just wish came and shot more width and dimension uh, to go ahead and slide up higher. Another good class. Entering the ring now is our Class 4C medium weight goats, Brennan Harrison, Heather Goldman, Taryn Runshaw, Jaden Fieser Favorite, Braden Vandervoort, Shane Smith, and Alexia Cornett. Class 4C have goats ranging in weights from 84 to 86 pounds. Again, 84 to 86 pounds. Results of our Class 4B medium weight are as follows. Alexia Cornett, 1. Allison Schultz, 2. Macy Cagle, 3. Lane Huff, 4. Reading down your program, 4, 1, 3, 2. Please report to the warm-up area, makeup area, Class 4D, Hope Ridinger, David Guyman, Jacob Guyman, Colleen Haynes, and Kenley Cagle. Class 4D will be our final medium weight class, and we will move directly into our champion and reserve champion middleweight selection.
immediately following the selection of our grand champion and reserve grand champion meat goat, we will be asking exhibitors to bring in one of their goats that they would like to nominate for the sale, one of their goats that they want to nominate for the sale. Those goats must have a .20 daily rate of gain and a 70, 70 pounds minimum. So they must be weigh 70 pounds at least and have a rate of gain of .20 and you may only nominate one goat. Thank you. Another very goats uh, in the middleweight division here. Uh, I go back and forth a little bit because I don't think either one is uh, exactly what I'm after or perfect from a skeletal standpoint. Uh, one's going to lead us off here. Uh, to me, it does so because he's the more athletic bodied one uh, that when you get your hands on him is the most impressive from a stand up rack shape and good loin edge standpoint. One that I think has enough chest width and uh, power when you get him behind him. Where I want to change that guy as he gets too straight in his shoulder and tight in his knee. You watch that one go away, and I wish he was a bit square in the way he utilized his hog a little bit better off his rear pasterns there. Young lady that comes out next here, uh, another one that I think's uh, got plenty of power to him. Uh, one that can give you a decent look at times, maybe holds its chest in it better when you set him in motion. The one that's still a little bit longer and straighter shoulders for me. One that I think gets a bit tight in terms of its hock there, uh, but a good muscular kind of a go to go ahead and slide into second. Young lady that's uh, doe that comes in third is honestly a bit more in my speed from a build standpoint. One that I think can give you an awfully nice look when you get off to the side of that one. I uh, just question if we have enough uh, power when you step in behind that one. Uh, does it have enough hard and stand up shape when you get your hands on him? Really nice doe though. Uh, could be a bright future there. Young man that comes out next, uh, another muscular kind of a goat, uh, one that I think just starts to give up uh, some build to the uh, doe ahead of him there, one that gets a little bit plainer chested, a little bit rounder out of his hip there, not quite as exciting to study from the side. Uh, young man that comes out next, uh, good goat, uh, it's got a little bit more pin width uh, around his body than some of the ones behind him, one that just gets a little bit sharp over his rack, wish, just wish that one was a little bit in that regard. Young man that comes out next, uh, good round bodied kind of a goat there. Issues there, I think he's just a little bit past his prime. That one starts to get pretty chunky and uh, soft to the touch for me, uh, but another good one there. Young man that rounds us out, uh, that's a higher kid ability goat for me, one that I just think needs to come with a shot more power and dimension throughout, uh, but a pretty exciting class there. Entering the ring now, we will have class 4D medium weight goats weighing 88 to 89 pounds. Entries include Hope Ridinger, David Guyman, Jacob Guyman, Colleen Haynes, and Kenley Cagle. Immediately following our class 4D, we will have the selection of champion and reserve champion medium weight market goat. Results of Class 4C is as follows. First to Heather Goldman, second to Taryn Runshaw, third to Alexia Cornett, fourth to Brennan Harrison, fifth to Jaden Fieser Favorite, sixth to Braden Vandervoort, and seventh to Shane Smith.
we're going to start lining up our medium weight champion division competitors from class 4A, we need Anna Lynn Smith and Caroline Boone. Class 4B, we need Alexia Cornett and Allison Schultz. Class 4C, we need Heather Goldman and Taryn Runshaw. Please start making your way to the makeup area. Another good class of middleweights here, uh, Youngman, that's going to lead us off. I want to thank Built Right from the side, uh, pretty decent chest and bottom line in that one. Maybe I'd like to see him just a little bit uh, more athletic there, uh, but I think one that's plenty good in that regard. Uh, get your hands on him. Uh, maybe not quite as upstanding in terms of rack shape as one of the other ones in here, uh, but a good loin edge in that dough right there. Uh, plenty of muscle, plenty of width uh, in terms of its chest. Uh, really nice one to lead us off. Uh, young man that comes in next, um, it's a doe that uh, kind of go back and forth on. Uh, for me, it's one that I think needs to hook up better behind her shoulder there, one that gets a bit straight off either end, and I start to concern, get a little questioning uh, from a build aspect if that was what, I, was what fits the mold that I've been trying to find today. Uh, when you get your hands on that one, that one hits you with the, the most stand-up shape is the truest from a composition standpoint, and I think probably needs to slide into second because of that. Young lady that comes in third, uh, another nice one there. Good body, opened up, kind of a goat uh, that's got enough muscularity and dimension. Uh, just not sure that it's enough expressive muscularity. I wish that one was a little bit more uh, hard to the touch, maybe gets a little bit soft for me today. Young lady that comes out next here, uh, certainly a, a higher kid ability goat. Uh, has got a decent look and a decent, uh, is decent in terms of muscularity. Maybe one that's not quite uh, as out there from a, a muscularity standpoint, though, starts to give up a shot in that regard. Young lady that rounds us out here, another uh, good composition kind of a goat. One that I think just needs to be opened up uh, in terms of dimension and width to slide up higher. Another good class of middleweights.
Congratulations to our four D medium weight exhibitors. First to David Guyman, second to Jacob Guyman, third to Colleen Haynes, fourth to Kenley Cagle, and fifth to Hope Ridinger. Reading down your program, five, one, two, three, four. Entering the ring now is our medium weight champion and reserve champion selection. In contention for medium weight champion out of class 4A, we have Anna Lynn Smith, 77 pound goat. Class 4B, Alexia Cornett with an 81 pound goat. Class 4C, Heather Goldman with an 85 pound goat. And class 4D, David Guyman with an 88 pound goat. In contention for reserve, we have Caroline Boone with 78 pound goat. Allison Schultz with a goat weighing 82 pounds. Taryn Runshaw with a goat weighing 85 pounds. And Jacob Guyman with his goat weighing 88 pounds. After the selection of our medium weight and reserve medium weight champion, we will be moving on to our heavyweight division. Our class consists of Alexia Cornett, Lauren Seichert, Lloyd Arbaugh, Deanna Seichert, Holly Narr, Evan Arnold, Colleen Haynes, and Hannah Haynes. The heavyweight division is considered class seven. Heavyweight division starts with class seven. Attention in the Shipley Building, attention in the Shipley Building. If you have found an iPhone in a shiny case, if you could turn it in at the announcer's booth. Again, if you have found an iPhone in a shiny case, if you can turn it in at the announcer's booth. Thank you. Come back out for a middleweight drive here. I think we got four pretty good ones on either side of me. A uh, young lady out of the lighter end of the class is there. Uh, one that I think's got a decent look, got some decent, uh, it's good from a muscularity standpoint, some big feet and legs on that one. Uh, young lady that comes out with this chromed up one. Uh, one that I think's awfully fun to study from the side. One that I really like in terms of his chest floor and uh, lower body shape there. One that maybe not quite as much uh, when he get in front or behind, I wish that one just had a little bit more width to his chest. Maybe a shot more pin width and dimension in that regard, but an awfully, awfully good one to study. Young lady uh, right, right here uh, has, a, has a weather that I think is extremely good when you get your hands on him. Awfully upstanding rack shape, uh, big, big shape up high in that one. Uh, plenty of muscle for me. That's one I just question a bit in terms of his build. Uh, is he too straight? Is he... Is he you know, acceptable from a, from a build standpoint. A young man out of the heavier end of our middleweights here, uh, one that maybe compared to another one, isn't quite as athletic uh, in terms of his body, maybe not quite as tight in terms of his chest, uh, but one that I think is definitely the most opened up uh, from front to back. That's got the most in terms of pin set, most shape up high. Uh, one that I think I can live with from a build standpoint. It's plenty good in that regard. We'll go ahead and use them for your grand. Congratulations to David Guyman out of our heavyweight, out of our class 4D middleweight class with his 88 pound goat. In contention is Jacob Guyman coming in for reserve.
Our second comes out from the heavier end of these middleweights. Uh, one that I liked in class from a muscularity standpoint, uh, but one that one that I still question from a build standpoint is that he needs to hook up better behind his shoulder there. And just one we want to see more relaxed in his angles. Uh, you know, there's not a perfect one standing here, and I said last night, I don't think there ever will be. Uh, when you start to look at these things, uh, I start to kind of reach for quality, and I start to, start to kind of reach for things that are the hardest to make in my mind. Uh, for me, that's going to be the young lady's chromed up one right here. Uh, I think that one's awfully nice. Congratulations to our reserve medium weight market goat. That award goes to Alexia Cornett. We would like to thank our champion medium weight sponsors, David and Michelle Parrish and Bounds Accounting and Tax Services. We'd also like to thank the reserve sponsor, Maryland Print House, and again, Bounds Accounting and Tax Services. Moving right along to our heavyweight classes, please. Um, Keep your ears open because these are a little larger classes. They may take a bit longer. So entering the ring now, we have heavyweight class 7A, Alexia Cornett, Lauren Seichert, Lloyd Arbaugh, Deanna Seichert, Holly Narr, Ar Evan Arnold, and Colleen and Hannah Haynes. Our goats in our heavyweight A division are range from 90 to 93 pounds, 90 to 93 pounds. We are still looking for a missing phone, a missing iPhone by the hand sanitizer station. If anybody finds that, if you could please hand it in here at the announcer's booth, that would be appreciated. Thank you.
For those of you just joining us at the show ring, we'd like to welcome you to the Eddie Harrison Jr. Memorial Arena. This arena was dedicated in memory of Eddie Jr. and Janie Harrison. We would also like to welcome our judge, Mr. Cole Reeves from Church Hill, Virginia. He grew up in Virginia on a small cattle operation. He found a passion in livestock judging, went on to judge at the junior and senior collegiate level where he did very, very well. He graduated with a major in agriculture in May 2021 and is here today to help us sort the market goat classes. Thank you so much for being here, Judge Reeves. Well, a real nice start to the heavyweights here. Uh, young lady is going to go ahead and lead us off. Uh, I think does so because that one's just a shot wider chested. Uh, for me, that one's when you get behind him, has a shot more to turn to his center leg there. Uh, still has plenty to mention up high. That's probably one of my favorites when you get your hands on him from a hardness uh, and ex muscle expression standpoint. Still gives you a decent enough look. Uh, issues there as that one's going away. I just wish that one was a little bit square in terms of your hock, uh, a little bit more comfortable on that rear pasture in there. Uh, that's where I could see uh, side with the young lady here in second. Uh, one that I think is actually better in that regard uh, from a structural standpoint on those rear wheels. One that I like to shop better uh, in terms of being being really useful and tight in terms of its chest floor. One that still has enough muscle, uh, which we want to nickel and dime that one, I think starts to give up just a shot. I uh, want to get him behind him in terms of pin width and center leg there. The only that comes out next uh, here in third, one, that, one that's got uh, some body shape to it, one that's got plenty of spread up high, maybe just not as hard or uh, touching as the uh, one that goes ahead and beats her. Maybe not quite as exciting from the side, uh, but a nice one, no doubt. Young lady that comes out next here in fourth, uh, one that's got plenty of width, one that's got plenty of dimension, and one that I like from a body shape standpoint, uh, maybe one that's just not quite as unique from the side uh, as the ones that slide up there above her. It will start to round out the class here. Uh, got some goats that I think just need to be opened up from a dimension and power standpoint. Some that just need to be freshed up to the touch, might get a little bit stale and sharp over the rack in some places, uh, but a real nice class of heavyweights to lead us off. Entering the ring now, we have Class 7B Heavyweight Market Goats, ranging in weight from 96 to 98 pounds. Entering the ring, we should have Hannah Staub, Lily Conaway, Allison Stoner, and Colleen Haynes. On standby, we will need Class 7C, Addison Wagner, Mason Arnold, Hannah Haynes, Two entries from Hannah Haynes, Estella Gover, Riley Dell, and Taryn Runshaw. Congratulations to our Class 7A heavyweight exhibitors. First to Holly Narr, second to Colleen Haynes, third to Deanna Seichert, fourth to Hannah Haynes, fifth to Lauren Seichert, sixth to Alexia Cornett, 7 to Lloyd Arbaugh and 8 
to Evan Arnold. As I said, in the ring at this time, we have Class 7B. These market goats are ranging in weight from 96 to 98 pounds. Again, 96 to 98 pounds. If you're enjoying your time at the fair, please know that today is Children's Day and there is activities in the tent at the top of the hill near the food stands. Mr. Ray Owens, the chicken man, is here and having shows. The mechanical bull rides is open between 12 and 8 p.m. There's hot dog racing on the hour throughout the day. We do have mobile glass studios doing demonstrations and blacksmiths demonstrations on the grounds. Our showmanship, swine showmanship, starts at 3 p.m. And the Salem Bonham Boys will be playing this evening. Tomorrow morning, we have the Western Horse Show at 8. Dairy Goat Fitting and Showing starts at 9 and livestock judging starts at 10. Again, livestock judging will start at 10. And tomorrow evening, the market swine show starts at 6 p.m. Another fun class of heavyweights here. Uh, young lady that's gonna lead us off. Uh, to me, does so from a muscularity standpoint. Uh, that's a big-chested one uh, that's got plenty of mass and dimension up high. Get your hands on him. It's really hard to the touch uh, and expressive there back over her edges. One that's got plenty of pin width and a lot of center lay when you get behind him. Uh, maybe not perfect in terms of her chest. Maybe not the most unique from the side. Uh, but one that I think is uh, definitely good enough to go ahead and lead us off here. A uh, young lady that comes out next. Uh, I think she finds herself in second because that's still a good touch and muscular kind of a goat. Uh, maybe not quite as good in terms of bound this uh, and turn to that one's rib. Maybe it gets a little bit plainer about its chest, uh, but a good muscular kind of market goat there for sure. Young lady here in third, uh, probably my favorite in terms of the way it's designed uh, from a chest floor and lower body standpoint. Uh, one that I just struggle with uh, when you get ones that are that opened up and dimensional. Does he have enough? Uh, but one that I certainly do like from the side. Young lady that's going to round us out here. Uh, awfully cool colored one. Uh, has some uh, turn to his rib. Actually a pretty uh, high kid ability kind of a goat there. One that I just wish uh, started wider and ended thicker. Uh, one that I'd just like to see come with a shot more power. Entering the ring now, we have Class 7C, heavyweight market goats. These goats will weigh between 102 and 107 pounds. Entries from Addison Wagner, Mason Arnold, Hannah Haynes, Hannah Haynes, Estella Gover, Riley Dell, and Taryn Runshaw. Results of our 7B heavyweight class. First to Allison Stoner, 
second to Hannah Staub, third to Colleen Haynes, fourth to Lily Conaway. Our show is moving right along. Please, exhibitors, keep your ears out. When we are done the show, finish the show, we will ask your exhibitors to bring one goat, one of their goats that they would like to nominate for the sale Friday night. Remember, your goat must have gained 0 0.20 pounds per day and weigh at least 70 pounds. Exhibitors do not need to be in show clothes. Thank you. It's really starting to warm up outside and getting a little warm in here. If you walk right across the road, right in front of the Shipley building, there is a snowball stand and there is also a freshly squeezed lemonade stand. So if you're feeling a little warm, you might want to walk across and, and get some refreshments at our vendors. If you want to start making your way to the ring, Class 7D Heavyweight Market Goats, Peyton Zepp, Allison Stoner, two entries by Grace Conaway. And if I'm reading my program right, that should be the last heavyweight class before we go into our champion heavyweight division. Again, we have a class in the ring. And class 7D should be our last heavyweight class before we move into our heavyweight division. Looking for Peyton Zepp, Allison Stoner, and two entries by Grace Conway.
While our judge is finishing up um, placing this class, for those of you who are interested in nominating your goat for the sale, once you have been selected for the sale, you can decide if you want to apply for the Market Goat Scholarship Fund. This means that your goat will sell in the sale and all proceeds will go to the scholarship fund. And Sheepman Supply has donated $500 and that is what you will get for your goat. So you will get $500 and then your goat with you will be sold and any proceeds will go directly to the scholarship fund. A real fun and real challenging class of heavyweights. Uh, I go back and forth at times because I question the young lady that starts. Uh, I question that whether in terms of his knee, whether he's good enough there. That one wants to open up a bit at the top of his shoulder. Uh, but when he's set him in motion, uh, he's getting stuck. I think he can give you a pretty neat look in terms of his chest floor, in terms of where his neck sits and how his bottom line's built there. Uh, one that's pretty pretty upstanding when you get your hands on him, one that's got enough muscle for me. Uh, you call his knee good enough, and I think he wins. Uh, if you don't, then I think the young lady here standing in second's got an awfully nice one too. Uh, one that's maybe not quite as... Uh, hard to the touch, uh, maybe not quite uh, as opened up in a few places, but one that's probably a shot better from, in terms of the structure, maybe a little bit better in places in terms of build. Uh, I think it's pretty close personally. Young lady here in third, uh, real opened up, real muscular kind of a goat. Uh, maybe one that just gets a little bit open at the top side of his shoulder there, one that gets a little bit longer and straighter about his shoulder, a little bit maybe not quite as unique uh, from build aspect at some points. Young lady that comes out next, another muscular goat uh, that's got the right kind of turn to his rib. Uh, one for me that maybe just gets a little bit plainer about his chest, maybe not quite as unique from the side. Uh, same thing with the young lady that comes next. Uh, one that I like uh, from a muscularity width dimension standpoint. The thing's got plenty of plenty of mass to him. Uh, maybe just uh, a little bit deeper about his chest there. Maybe a little bit plainer about his hip design. Maybe just not quite as unique from the side. Young lady coming next here, uh, one that I actually prefer from a build standpoint. I think one that's better about his chest, one that gives you a better look from the side. I just think that one starts a little bit narrow when you got ones in there with that much dimension and power to them. Same thing, young man, uh, around an outer class. Not a bad goat. Uh, for me, uh, one that just needs to be opened up a little bit, just needs to be a little bit stouter and more powerful on this drive here today. Entering the ring is our last class of heavyweights of the day, Peyton Zepp, Allison Stoner, and two entries by Grace Conaway. Results of class 7C, heavyweight market goats, first Addison Wagner, second Hannah Haynes, third Estella Gover, fourth to Taryn Runshaw, fifth to Hannah Haynes, sixth to Riley Dell, seventh to Mason Arnold. If you're reading down your program, one, seven, five, two, three, six, four. We have four entries in this class. We need to start gathering our heavyweight contenders for champion in reserve from class A. We need Holly Narr and Colleen Haynes from B. Allison Stoner and Hannah Staub, and from C, Addison Wagner and Hannah Haynes, and then the first and second places from our class D. Again, every year a scholarship meet goat is auctioned off Friday night. After you are nominated and selected for the sale, you can put your name in to be selected as that goat. Sheepman Supply has donated $500. If your name is selected, you will get $500 for your goat. And whatever your goat brings at the auction will go directly to our scholarship fund. Thank you.
in our heavyweight class in the ring, we do have goats weighing from 112 pounds to 123 pounds. Again, this last heavyweight class has goats weighing 112 to 123. Another good class of heavyweights here. Uh, young lady that's going to lead us off. Uh, the weather that's uh, plenty opened up for me. Uh, for me, it's just the most impressive when you get your hands on him. That's a round body goat there that's got a big rack and a big, big back. And that guy, a lot of dimension and power when you get in behind him. Uh, maybe not uh, maybe not perfect in terms of the angle of that one shoulder. Maybe not the most unique from the side, uh, but a big, big uh, powerhouse there. Young lady that comes next. One I like for the shot better uh, in terms of. Uh, that one's angles in terms of the look that one can give you from the side. Uh, pretty good loin edge in that one, maybe just not quite as impressive uh, in the terms of some hard shape behind that one's shoulder. Maybe not quite as uh, just out there from a muscularity and expressiveness standpoint. Young lady that comes in third, uh, for me, is one that's uh, plenty opened up. Uh, maybe the main issue there is that one gets a little bit uh, too pushed too far for me from a fat cover standpoint. That's why I'm starting to out in terms of his chest there, one that starts to get a little bit softer. And a young lady that's going to round us out here, uh, for me, is one that I think just needs to come with a bit more chest and dimension today, uh, but another nice class, no doubt. Congratulations to our Class 7D heavyweight market goats. First to Allison Stoner, second to Peyton Zepp, third to Grace Conaway, fourth to Grace Conaway. If you're reading down your program, two, one, three, four. Entering the ring now, we have our heavyweight champion division from class 7A. We have Holly Narr with a goat weighing 92 pounds, Allison Stoner with a goat weighing 98 pounds, Addison Wagner with her goat weighing 102 pounds, and Allison Stoner with a goat wing, 117 pounds. In contention for reserve, we have Colleen Haynes with her goat wing, 92 pounds. Hannah Staub with her goat wing, 96 pounds. Hannah Haynes with her goat wing, 104 pounds. And Peyton Zepp with a goat wing, 112 pounds. Good luck to our exhibitors. To ringside, to ringside, we need to start bringing our lightweight market goat exhibitor, David Guyman, the reserve lightweight market goat, Addison Wagner, the medium weight division champion, David Guyman, and the reserve medium weight, Alexia Cornett. You can start making your way to ringside. Thank you.
You guys will come back out for a heavyweight drive here. Uh, a lot of good goats on either side of me. A uh, young lady that comes out of the lighter end of this deal, uh, one that I think is extremely nice uh, in terms of that one's silhouette, the way that one's put together. I uh, get on either side of him. Uh, the couple other ones in this drive, I wonder if that one's just opened up quite enough. That one has just enough muscle for me at this point. Uh, young man that comes uh, here in beside her, uh, one that I think uh, has got enough look, has got enough quality. Uh, pretty good when you get your hands on them, especially back over that loin edge. Uh, for me, one that I just wish came a little bit stronger passer. And again, we get in here with some of these other ones. Uh, you think he's got enough to run, or does he? Uh, young lady here, uh, as we start to get into the heavier side of things, uh, one that I think is pretty unique uh, for be, being the heavier weight end of this deal and uh, be that fresh and youthful about his chest. Uh, to be that athletic about his body shape and uh, still be that fresh to, the t fresh to the touch up high. You know, maybe not as out there uh, from a muscularity standpoint is another one in here, uh, but I think one that's awfully fun to study, uh, especially when she gets him stuck like that. Young lady that comes out of the heavy end of this deal, uh, uh, you want to talk about one that's built like a tank. Yeah, that one's wide-chested. You get your hands on him. Uh, uh, it's it's awfully impressive how much fresh uh, raw shape that one's got to be at this stage of the game. Uh, plenty of power in that guy. Uh, I guess for me, I wonder if that one's uh, just youthful and fresh enough in terms of his lower body shape. Uh, starts to get a little bit deeper there when you compare him back to some other ones. Uh, I guess I go back and forth uh, and kind of like we did in the middleweights. Uh, which one's the which one's the hardest to make? Which one puts the most good together? Uh, I think it's a tough decision. Uh, I guess for me, uh, I just like the uniqueness of the young lady's uh, build right here. Your champion heavyweight goes to Miss Addison Wagner with a goat weighing 102 pounds. That came out of class 7C. Coming into contention now is Hannah Haynes with her goat weighing 104 pounds. Well, our second comes back from that class, and I think one that uh, matches up well with what we have out here. Uh, but I guess I already had in my mind that it was kind of a pair uh, to pick from, and uh, the one that's uh, been on my mind uh, Within that pair that's still standing here is going to be a young lady right here. Congratulations, the last year senior, Allison Stoner, for reserve champion heavyweight market goat. Entering the ring now, we'll have the following. From the lightweight division, we will have David Guyman with his champion lightweight market goat and reserve lightweight exhibited by Addison Wagner. From our medium weight division, we have David Guyman exhibiting the champion middleweight market goat and Alexia Cornett exhibiting the reserve champion mar medium weight market goat. And from our last division, we have Addison Wagner exhibiting the champion heavyweight and Allison Stoner exhibiting the reserve. They will compete for your overall grand champion market goat and reserve grand champion market goat. These awards are sponsored by Bounds Accounting and Tax Services and North Carroll Veterinary Services. Immediately following the selection of Grand Champion Market Goat, we will be doing the selection of Champion Bread and Own Market Goat. 
bred and owned means that the 4 H'er owned the mother, bred, had the breeding completed, and then has raised the baby. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Cole Reeves, our judge from Churchville, Virginia. He came up and he's done our lamb showmanship, our lamb market classes, our goat market goat showmanship, and our market goat classes. Please give him a round of applause. Thank him for coming out here and helping us out. So we come back out for our final drive here, and I think we uh, got some pretty good goats on either side of us here. I uh, just want to thank everybody for allowing me to come up here and uh, trust me to sort your livestock, but most importantly to work with your young people. Uh, I can tell you that uh, somebody that stood in their shoes and somebody that was uh, doing the same 4-H and FFA activities that they did, that uh, there's no better place for a young person to stand. Uh, it'll open a lot of doors and give them a lot of opportunities. Uh, and it'll take them as far as they want. Uh, I hope to remind the young people here uh, to go home and make sure you thank everybody that helped you uh, get to this point uh, from when you started to when you finish. Uh, the amount of help that you, uh, you need gets less and less uh, with still a lot of stuff that goes in on the background uh, from your family and your friends uh, and especially uh, people that have helped you put on this show to this point. Uh, in my opinion, they are uh, second to none. Uh, the way I understand that you guys were able to have this county fair last year, and I think that goes uh, without saying, and that's a pretty impressive feat. Uh, so I think they all need a round of applause as well. I've already said enough about these goats today. I think uh, I think we have a pretty good set here, so I'm just gonna gonna go ahead and uh, select your champion. Congratulations to Miss Addison Wagner on Grand Champion Market Goat with her heavyweight goat. In contention comes Allison Stoner with her reserve heavyweight.
Well, our heavyweight comes back out here, and uh, I don't think it gets any easier, but uh, I thought that was a, a very tough division in my mind, and uh, I guess for me, I'm going to have to go ahead and use your heavyweight as your reserve. Thank you. Congratulations, Allison Stoner, reserve grand champion, market goat. What a way to finish a career. Okay, we are not quite done yet, folks. We have bred and owned champion market goat to select. Exhibitors, please select one of your bred and owned goats and start heading to the ring. We should have entries from Colleen Haynes, Hannah Haynes, Josie Dell, Lily Conaway, Lloyd Arbaugh, Reagan Fieser favorite, Jaden Fieser favorite, David Guyman, Grace Conaway, Evan Arbaugh, Shane Smith, Hunter Huff, Gwen Boyle, Elena Enoff, Mason Arnold, Marie McCullough, Alexia Cornett, and Shane Smith. We are picking one champion bred and owned winner. You may enter the ring. As soon as we pick our champion bred and owned, we will be asking exhibitors to bring their goats to the ring for sale selection, and then we will do pictures. As we get our exhibitors ready to make sure that if they have their bread and owned goats coming into the ring, if you have been fortunate enough to win a prize today, please make sure you complete your thank you note and put it in the mail. Again, if you've been fortunate to win an award today, please complete your thank you notes and drop them in the mail. Our sponsors keep us going year after year. Please take an opportunity to thank them. In addition, look around to the people in these bright blue shirts. When you have a chance, exhibitors, please stop and thank these people. They made sure your show ran today and to help you get in and out of the ring. So thank your, go your meat goat committee. In the ring now, we have the bred and owned division. We will be selecting a champion bred and owned. For those of you around the ring who may not be sure what that means, 
That means that all of these 4-H'ers you see in the ring owned the mom. They owned the mom and they bred her and this is the, one of the babies. So they have owned the mom, they did the breeding decisions, helped, have, helped with the baby, and then they have raised their market goat up to this size. Well, as we round out with our bread and own deal, I always uh, always appreciate that as somebody that tries to breed their own livestock as well. Uh, it's always a good place to uh, to find yourself and teaches you a lot of good lessons. Uh, I think we got a lot of good goats out here, uh, some goats that uh, had some, some success uh, through classes today, which is exciting uh, for these young people that are trying to raise them themselves. Uh, I guess for me, there's one uh, that's just... Uh, Caught me uh, the first time it hit the ring a little bit, and uh, I think standing out here does the same. Young lady's paint right here is going to be your champion bread and own. Congratulations to Alexia Cornett for exhibiting the champion bread and owned market goat. In the ring now, we're going to have the selection of our sale goats. Exhibitors bring one goat, one of your goats that you want to nominate for the sale and line up around the ring. Make sure that your goat that you're selecting has had 0.2 rate of gain, 0.20 rate of gain. And also it must weigh at least 70 pounds.
one more time. We are lining up in the ring for sale nominations. If you have a goat that you would like to sell, it is not an automatic thing. You need to bring your goat to the ring right now. The judge will then select from the goats that are in the ring. Make sure your goat has gained at least 2.20 pounds per day and that it weighs at least 70 pounds and you may only nominate one goat. Again, to goat exhibitors, we are now doing nominations for the goat sale. You need to bring your goat to the show ring at this time.
Hannah Staub. Hannah Staub, if you could come to the ring, please. Hannah, to the ring. Attention goat exhibitors, attention goat exhibitors. If you have goats that you did not make the sale and you would prefer not to take them home, if you talk to Ann Constant, she may be interested in purchasing those goats from you. Again, if you speak to Ann Constant, she may be interested in purchasing those goats from you so you do not have to take them home. Again, if you have goats that did not make the sale and you don't want to take them home with you, you would like to sell them from here, you can talk to Miss Ann Constant, and she may be able to help you out and purchase those goats so you don't have to take them home. Thank you. Attention, attention in the meat goat barn. If you're not selling a goat in the sale, you may take those goats home now, but you sale goats must stay. Sale goats must stay. But if you don't have a sale goat and you would like to take it home, you can at this time. Okay. Lexi, Lexi Cornett. Lexi. Congratulations to Lexi's Cornette. She was selected as our scholarship GOAT recipient. She will sell her GOAT Friday night through the livestock auction and any proceeds will go to our scholarship fund. We'd like to thank Sheepman Supplies for supporting our scholarship fund and for giving our 4 her who donated her, their goat $500. Thank you to our sponsors. Braden Vander, Vanderwart, and a parent. If you could come to the ring, please. Braden, and then, there he comes.
Scholarship GOAT Award recipient. Brayden will receive $500, and his GOAT will sell through the sale Friday night, and all proceeds will go to our scholarship fund. I'd like to take this chance to thank the GOAT Committee for running such a smooth show today. I'd like to thank our Carroll County Farm Bureau Queen, Sierra Ween, for being here today and handing out all our ribbons and dumping those shavings out of her shoes. Thank you, Sierra. Swine Committee, you can start setting up the ring. Swine Committee, you can start setting up the ring. We'll have the swine show starting at 3 o'clock in the show ring. Hope you all come back and enjoy it. <laughs> 